How's it yo's? We are fast approaching round number two of our season three GT5 Janetta Championship. Round number two takes us to Oschersleben and we are going to be racing on the A format. This track is extremely tight, extremely technical and really has some great sections that you're going to be flicking the car from the one direction to the next. You're currently watching a, a speeded up version of the fastest lap I've been able to do to date. But once I had stuck it into the editing software, realized that there wasn't any car noise. And unfortunately, that just won't cut it. Then you see I will cross the line and do a 1 minute 39.6. So with that lap out of the way, it's time to do it again. And we pick up the action here coming into the last corner tightening up getting the power on nice and early down the start finish moving over to the right hand side getting your line ready to be on the outside what I'm looking for is just before the 150 mark there's a little road there as you end that, that road hard on the brakes try to break in the straight line down to first letting the car float as you go past those blue barrels on the right hand side was when I was putting the power on keeping that power on throughout the entire duration of the exit of the corner waiting now for the 100 meter mark break down into second once you hit that curve straight back on the power you see how the nose of the car wanted to just tighten up but i kept it going there kept um, keeping that throttle on now we're looking for the third last cone rolling out to gear down into full straight back on the power uh, braking in a straight line and down to second gear turning in from here straight back on the power and we keep the power going all the way under the bridge gear down into third let the car stable as you hit the little sausage curb was where I got that power back on and full speed more power so here I did break a little bit too early but just about 75 meters take a lot of the inside curb get onto that inside curb once again careful not to run out there as you go past the blue barrels on the left foot off onto the curb straight back on the power don't float out that was the white line a breaking point to turn in and straight back on the power i had lost about 0.4 per second so it definitely um, I believe that we would have got down into the 138 but there you go a 139.4 and this is my setup so for this setup I've dropped the tire pressure down to a 1.3 bar it is quite important here to keep the tires cool because you'll find that you'll be able to do two to three laps pretty quickly and then the tires will start overheating so you will need to just come off that power and just allow those tires to cool down ever so slightly so taking a look at the suspension settings what I've done is I've increased my cambers here I know that the lower cambers will help with the heating but I wanted to get more grip because this car is going to be thrown from one side to the next you once that car is leaning onto the other tire you want that grip to be there in terms of the ride height I do have the rear raised and that's going to help get the nose down on the brakes and also help with your initial turn in on the anti-roll bars those I have increased up to 160 the reason for that is I want more front end turning going into the corner and then the anti-roll bar I've increased those as well what that will do is on acceleration you're now going to have the rear is going to want to be sliding out which is going to help rotate the car so for the uh, damper settings i have made them a lot stiffer and the reason being is i felt that you definitely needed a lot more responsive car so that when the car has been flicked from the one side to the next is that it's settling itself a lot quicker and you're maximizing your grip so your slow bumps on the front are 8800 slow a rebound in the front is 8850 and then for the rears a slow bump is 7300 with the slow rebound of 10250 then i've also just increased the bump transition slightly for the front is on 600 and the bump transition on the rear is a 535 
and finally the rebound transition on the front is 495 and on the rear the rebound transition is a 605 and those are both negative negative. and finally uh, don't forget to increase your uh, ratios uh, to the highest gear ratio this is going to give you the best acceleration coming out the corners which is what you need so thanks very much guys i hope you enjoyed watching that if you did give us a like and please let me know how the setup works for you.